Well, good morning, or I should say good afternoon because it's in the afternoon right now. I was going to do this this morning, but I've been very busy all day. Uh, today is Monday, June 5th. It's time for my weekly update. Um, I lost four pounds since last week. I think it was closer to, no, it was four pounds. I weighed 266 this morning. I think I weighed 270 last week. I actually lost at my Weight Watchers meeting on Saturday. I lost 4.8, which I was really happy about because the week before, if you remember, I gained 4.9. But um, I had um, pizza and pop yesterday, which was very loaded, loaded with sodium and fattening too. <laughs> Let's be honest. So I was really happy just that I only really gained like about a pound. So, um, well, the 0.8. But, you know, it's... I'm back on track. Um, I had my breakfast. I'm going to have lunch and dinner. Uh, the things I've learned in the past week. Um, last week, you know what? I didn't do a, a Monday highlight last week. Now that I'm thinking about it, it was Memorial Day. Yeah, so you didn't see that I had gained four pounds last week. <laughs> or actually, I gained five, I think. Because 4.9, I think I gained five pounds. So. But anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. I was overweight <laughs> even then. But um, I... Um, I just lost track of the time last week because I apologize that I didn't put one up. I like to put one up every week. But um, I had a very bad weekend last weekend. I had like a lost weekend. Um, I went way off my diet on Thursday, Friday, no, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I, I went on a binge. I ate all the wrong foods. Uh, I didn't eat, the only thing healthy I had was on my Burger King. I had the lettuce and the tomato. <laughs> that was it because... Um, I had banana splits, I had ice cream, I had cookies, I had cake, I had candy, I had pizza, I had tacos. I just, I went crazy. I just absolutely went crazy. So um, on Tuesday, I thought, no, enough of this. Let's get back on track. We're, we're not going to fall under our old ways. And I got right back on the saddle. Um, I made a vow that for June, I'm going to dedicate the month of June to my mother. Um, my mother's passed, um, 2008, and I miss her every day. But um, my mother lived with me. For about 14 years well 13 years and yeah, close to 14 but um and it was really in her last couple years that she had failing health up until then she was pretty much taking care of herself so it was just like she was a roommate type of thing i didn't have to really take care of her but her last couple years of her life were i don't regret it I, you know um i would have liked her to have been healthier so she could have enjoyed the last couple years of her life a little bit more but um that wasn't to be so I did all I could do, and I have no regrets. Um, but anyway, I'm dedicating the month of June to my mother, and um, I know she's up in heaven, and so she's a little angel watching out for me, and so if I'm going to do bad, she's going to give me a little tap on the shoulder and get me right back on track. Um, I also vowed that I was going to eat three meals a day. Very difficult for me. Very, very difficult. I, for 25 years, never ate my first meal until like 1 o'clock. I started work at 6 in the morning, and... Um, I just didn't want to, I would rather sleep than get up and eat, so, uh, and then on your break, you know, you only got 15 minutes on your break, Who, you know, I didn't want to get indigestion, so I didn't really eat anything, and then when I had my lunch, I, I ate my lunch like around 12, 31 o'clock, so it's just a habit that I've had, and it's very hard for me to break, and um, so still now, I don't, usually, I try, I really do try to eat before 1 o'clock, but it just doesn't happen. But um, last week, from Tuesday on to Saturday, I got three meals in every day. And um, I ate more vegetables. Um, I still eat a lot of fruit. I know um, my everyday wife life is going to have a sugar challenge. And I said, well, you know, I really don't eat that much sugar. But then when I got to thinking about it, I eat a lot of fruit. So that is sugar. I mean, it's a natural sugar, but it's still sugar. But... Uh, I don't know that I could do without my fruits. I really can't. I need the substitute for the candy and the cookies and the cakes and all that other stuff. So I think that the healthier choice is to eat the fruit. So that's my plan. But, uh, and I'm not really a big, um, what's the word, processed food eater. I pretty much make from scratch things I eat. I don't eat instant potatoes. Um, I, uh, I do eat a lot. I do eat vegetables with my meals, my dinners, but not so much my lunch. So that was my plan last week to eat more vegetables, and so that was my lunch. I had a, a vegetable platter every day, and it, it really worked out for me. And it paid off on Saturday because I did lose 4.8 pounds. 
Um, I was just hoping when I went that I could stay the same uh, because I knew I had such a bad three days that the four days that I did diet was just to make up for the three days that I went crazy. And so I was very fortunate that I did lose weight and I'm very appreciative of that fact. Um, which kept me on track on Saturday after I got weighed because usually I, I go crazy on the weekends. I don't track. I don't track on Sundays. I know that Sunday's still a day of the week and I should track. But if I don't at least give one day that I don't worry about what I'm eating, um, and not that I worry about what I'm eating, it's just, um, I just know that I've ha I have that one day to look forward to. It makes it that much easier to do the other six. So as long as I don't go crazy, which I did go crazy yesterday because I had pizza and wings and uh, pop and uh, Jets bread, crazy bread or whatever. So, I mean, I did go crazy. It was a really heavy, heavy day. But, um, well, I got on the scale this morning and really I, I think that was the point eight is what I gained. And like I said, I think that's a lot of it is sodium. So as long as I get back on track, I really had a lot to do today and I didn't think I was going to get my walk in. But um, I thought, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk before I do anything. Um, I'm going to fit everything into my day and walking is part of the things I have to fit in and, and I fit it in. Uh, I don't like to think of it as fitting in because um, it's part of my day, but uh, I, I had a lot to do, and I, I got everything accomplished, and I still got my almost two-mile walk in, and I'm very proud of that fact. I uh, knew that I had a lot to do today, so I walked a little bit faster, so it was a, I was a little more tired <laughs> when I was done, but you know what? I did it, and I was, I was really glad that I did. So... Um, I've had my breakfast already. I'm planning on a... Well, sorry about that. Um, phone rang and I had to answer it. And then on top of it, I got all done with the phone call and I went and finished my video and got all done and realized I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> Only me. So now I'm, I'm going to remember what I said and what I didn't say. Um, I've already eaten my breakfast. I've, I'm going to have a vegetable platter for my lunch and I'm going to have a salad for dinner. I have some um, smoked turkey I'm going to put on it. I'm going to have some cottage cheese and some cherries and my iced tea. Um, I pretty much plan my meals for the day each day. I go shopping once a week now and I get the things that I kind of have an idea, general idea what I'm going to eat for the week and I get all my fruits and vegetables and um, my proteins and put them in little individual bags and put them in the freezer. Um, my goal for the last couple months was not to go to Kroger so much because I spend way too much money. I go back and I spend get stuff that I don't really need and it tempts me to get the donuts because they have a really nice donut stand there and uh, donuts are one of my downfalls and also um, the hostess products I, I love the Qu the Twinkies and the cupcakes and the ding dongs and so um, it keeps me away from that bag only once a week and I saved money last month I saved almost a hundred dollars which is quite a bit of money that just shows you how much extra food I buy that I don't really need uh, I have a pretty full pantry I um, pretty much cook from scratch um, I don't eat a lot of processed foods. I use, I don't use like instant potatoes. Um, if I'm gonna make like a stuffing, I usually a lot of times I'll just make my own stuffing. If I'm gonna make a chicken with stuffing, I'll just you know get like a a fryer and bake it and uh, stuff it. But I, I don't do that there often. I, I mostly eat like boneless chicken breast, boneless pork chops. Um, I, the spaghetti sauce I put in little containers so that I can have spaghetti. And um, when I make lasagna, I save little portions so that if I want that. So I pretty much can go to my freezer anytime I want. Now that I say that, spaghetti is the processed food. But, you know, you kind of get what I'm talking about. But um, I try to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I eat too much fruit, I know that. But um, like I said earlier, that it's I'd rather eat the fruit than the candy and the cookies and the cake and all that other stuff. So... Um, my plan for the for the coming week is to follow what I'm doing. Uh, it seems to be working for me. Uh, it's difficult for me to get three meals in, um, but I can see that it does work. It's hard for me. I get 37 smart points on the Weight Watcher plan. It's hard for me to eat all 37 points if I'm going to eat healthy. If I'm going to eat really bad, I have no problems eating that and going way over. But um, I'm trying to get within the 37 points. I think that they said you should get like three under or four above. So like a seven point range. So I'm, I'm trying that. And um, keeping myself busy, that's all I can do. If I if I sit around, uh, I want to eat. So I keep myself busy. So uh, I'm hoping to have a good 
I want to repeat my summer of 2015. Summer of 2015 is when I actually started this journey. I, I, at that time, I weighed 306 and a half pounds. Uh, this morning, I weighed um, 266. So um, I've lost 40, pound, 40 and a half pounds. Um, on Weight Watchers, um, I've lost 30 eight and a half I think it is because in the morning I don't have you know like I don't wear I just have my pajamas on I don't go to my meetings in my pajamas so uh, you do put a little bit of weight with your clothes on so uh, I pretty much I'm, I'm going with the Weight Watchers of the 38 and a half pounds but in my mind I know I've really lost 40 and a half pounds and I'm, I'm on my way I'm gonna do it um, I lost which is sad but when I started in uh, July of 2015 by November 23rd of November of 2015 I had lost 43 pounds so that just shows you that I've actually gained three pounds in two years and I've been going up and down and up and down I have learned how to maintain I've mastered the art of maintaining now I have to get back and remember how to lose and I know I can do it because I've done it in the past so I know I'm setting a goal high but I'm hoping that by Thanksgiving I can lose 40 pounds I did it in 2015 granted I'm two years older now it's a little bit harder the older you get, but um, I'm bound and determined I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to at least get into the 50s before Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's my minimal goal. <laughs> That's the minimal goal that I'm going to I'm going to have to reach. But uh, I'm hoping I don't have to wait until then. So um, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, I I realized that I've kind of offended some people the other day, um, and I do apologize. I don't like to get political. It's just not my nature, but. Um, and I know this is a weight loss channel, and if I offended anybody, I do apologize. It was not my intentions. Uh, I know that uh, I should keep my opinions to myself. That's, uh, that's just the way I was brought up. My mother always said, if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything. So I really didn't have anything nice to say that day, and uh, I shouldn't have said anything. So I do apologize, and if I offended you, please forgive me. So uh, I hope you like this video. Subscribe comment, and share. And together we're going to lose a lot of weight this summer.